Opening statements were made in the murder trial for former Columbus police officer Adam Coy Thursday morning. The state arguing Coy acted recklessly, saying Andre Hill was not a threat. The defense argues Coy's actions were reasonable as he just followed his training. Coy is charged with murdering Hill in December of 2020. The former officer opened fire as Hill approached him holding a cell phone. No gun was found at the scene. Witness testimony began shortly after the opening statements Thursday. First to the stand was Robert Ronker. He is the neighbor who called 911 about a suspicious car that had been in his neighborhood for hours. He appeared emotional at times, recalling the series of events. After the officer told you to go back into your house and he would talk to you later, what did you do next? Well, I did what he said. I went back to my house. Did you make it all the way inside your house? No. What happened? I heard two shots. CPD officer Amy Detweiler, who was at the scene with Coy, was also called to the stand by the state. She described seeing a cell phone in Hill's hand before Coy fired shots. He did sort of pause and then turned towards me, raised his cell phone in, a re in his left hand, or he pulled his cell phone out or had his cell phone in this position. How could you tell that it was a cell phone? The screen was eliminated. Could you see anything in his right hand at all? I could not see the right side of his body. And is that why you did not fire your weapon, officer? I did not see anything presented to me. On Friday morning, the state will wrap up their questioning of Detweiler, and then the defense will have their turn. Both sides have also said they plan to bring police experts to the stand in the coming days. I will be inside that courtroom and will be bringing you updates both here on air and online. On your side at the Franklin County Courthouse, I'm Kate Seifert, ABC 6 News.